famous artist from Metro Detroit tonight is the victim of a backyard heist in Birmingham. Sculptures worth tens of thousands of dollars were stolen from his home. 7 Action News reporter Gino Vici is live in Royal Oak, where one artist's creations is one of the artist's creations is on display, should I say, Gino? Well, that's right, Carolyn. This giant red chair here was purchased by the city of Royal Oak. It was made by Gary Kulak. Now, he's no starving artist. His work has been featured in, obviously, here in Royal Oak, downtown Mount Clemens, Grand Valley State University. And I spoke to his wife tonight, and he says the couple is devastated. It is, it is heartbreaking. Denise Kulak is talking about three sculptures that were sitting in the backyard of her Birmingham home. Recently, she returned home from a trip and noticed they were gone. It says when she first noticed they were missing, she never would have imagined they were stolen. Did someone take them? Did someone borrow them? Did my husband in Italy call someone and have them move them? Kulak says the three sculptures, two of them mostly made of copper and several hundred pounds apiece and one made of powder coated metal, are certainly not light enough to grab and run. Somebody had to plan it, somebody had to have a truck, somebody had to have some guys, so they knew it was there. Kulak says the art was made by her husband, Gary, who's an internationally known artist currently in Italy for a client. Gary is also the head of the fine arts department at Cranbrook Schools and has produced many well-known sculptures around town, the state, and even overseas. Kulak says her husband is devastated. His work was stolen from his own home. When you take a, uh, an artist's artwork, it's like taking a part of their soul. The Birmingham couple filed a police report and sent out notices to the art community to be on the lookout for them. Meanwhile, she has this to and say to the thieves. It means more as art than it does as scrap. And if you have it, just return it or call the police. Now, these uh, giant sculptures sell for tens of thousands of dollars, but the three missing from his, his own personal collection, they have an added sentimental value. And his wife says they're hoping somehow, some way, they can be returned. We're live in Royal Oak, Gino Vici, 7 Action News. All right, Gino, thank you very much. We'll keep track of that story.